Hey, thanks for checking out our products today at Boldly Growing. Here we have our large raised planter that we sell, and this is going to be a quick assembly video so you can see how easy it is to put this together once you get it in the mail. Now, this is one of our larger planters. It offers a lot of planting area, some good depth if you want to grow root vegetables or tubers like carrots or potatoes. Of course, you can also do flowers, vegetables, or fruits as well. It also has a storage shelf underneath to store your tools or additional potted plants if you'd like. Now, we think this raised planter offers tremendous value to our customers compared to the competition because it's super strong, nice looking, and it'll last for many years. In fact, we tested this planter and it held more than 500 pounds without breaking. Now, we've changed a couple of things from the original design because we had to make sure it'd be strong enough not to fall apart while you're using it. You could probably find cheaper planters, but none in this price range will be as reliable or have the quality and finish that we'll provide. You'll see that it's pretty easy to put it together. We've already pre-assembled as much as we can. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter wrench or socket, and it'll take about 10 or maybe 15 minutes to put it together, even if it's your first time. You'll see that I'm gonna use an electric drill, which will make things go a little bit more quickly, but you can definitely do it with a regular Phillips screwdriver if that's all you have. Now we hope you like your product, or if you haven't bought it yet, we hope you'll give us a shot. If you run into any issues or problems, please reach out to us. You can find us on Facebook, our website, or via email. We'll be happy to help you out right away. All right, let's show you how to put it together. Okay, now when you get this kit, you're gonna see that it's gonna come packaged just like this. Now I've already uh, cut the straps on this, but it'll come nicely packaged together. Uh, once you take it out of the box, it'll look like this. You can cut the straps. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna set your instructions to the side and start to kind of unpackage all the parts. So you can see here I have my hardware kit uh, and then I have wrapped up in this foam, I've got a couple of the side panels, which I'm just gonna lay out. One of the other side panels, and I'm gonna stack that on top of that one. Um, I have the logo, which we'll put on last. Two of the end panels, which we're gonna start with. And then I'm gonna have two of the legs here. The floor pieces, which we'll put, we'll use towards the end. The dividing piece in the center, which will also go towards the end. The bottom shelf, which we will need. And then also these two, the other two legs. Now this is the landscaping cloth. We'll use that at the end as well. So I'm gonna set that to the side. Now, once I get this stuff unpackaged, we're going to go ahead and get started and you'll see with the instructions that you're going to start with two of the legs and one of the end panels but what i like to do in order to make sure that i get the hardware correct is i like to separate it out so i'll go ahead and dump it out and you'll see i've already taken the nuts off of these they'll actually come on the bolts for yours for your kit but there's going to be two different type two different lengths of bolts i'm going to go ahead and line them up like that so you can see that there's a shorter length and then a longer length, and you're going to want to separate them by those two uh, scenarios. And there's only going to be four of the longer ones, and then eight of the shorter ones. So there's all my longer ones, and then the rest ones will be short. I like to make that distinction just so that I don't get confused later. And then I want to do the same thing with the screws. So you can see there's some uh, one size screw, and then there's actually a shorter length screw. It's only a difference of about five millimeters, which is only uh, about a quarter of an inch or so. And so you're going to want to make sure you get those separate because it's going to matter which size screw length we use. So now you can see I've got all of the hardware kind of separated out. So I've got the longer bolts, the shorter bolts, the longer screws, and the shorter screws here. Uh, now the shorter screws are going to be used on the end panels with the legs, and then the longer screws will be used with the floor panels. Okay, so now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my screwdriver. Now I'm using an electric screwdriver, I'm just gonna make it go a little bit more quickly, uh, but you can also use a regular screwdriver and get by just fine. Now you'll notice the difference that these, uh, these legs are, it, it matters which one goes where. And so they only have pre-drilled holes on one side and there's no pre-drilled holes on the other. Now it's very important that you, when you screw the end panels on, that you screw onto the side with no pre-drilled holes. Uh, the, the big holes that are pre-drilled here are gonna be for the bolts. And so we're gonna go ahead and grab one of these. 
it's going to go on the left side here, and I'm going to grab the opposite one, which is going to be this one right here, uh, which you can see it has the two pre-drilled big holes on the side there, so it's going to go over here. I'm going to set this one to the side, and we're going to work on fixing this one first. All right, now there's no real trick to this other than you just want to make sure that you get it even here, and then you're going to go ahead and screw it in using the shorter screws. So I'm going to grab this and go ahead and screw it in. Now I want to make sure as I'm doing this that I'm not using too high of a torque setting or it would be possible to go ahead and screw all the way through to the back side. Now I'll do the other side making sure I line it up first. And again I've got the pre-drilled holes here and then I'm screwing in this way. I got it lined up on the top. Once I've done this panel, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to the side, and then I'm gonna do the other one. So I'll take this leg and this leg and get them lined up the way I need them. Grab the end panel. There's no top or bottom on this. Get it lined up with the top edge and then I'll put the screws in. Again, four shorter screws. All right, once I've got both of those together, then I'm gonna go ahead and stand this up. And I am going to grab one of the side panels. Now, you see that where the notch is on this side panel, this is gonna end up being the top of the planter. We're actually gonna assemble this upside down because it's a little bit easier. So I'm gonna set this in here with the end panel here and the side panel lined up. And then I'm gonna grab one of the longer bolts and I'm gonna thread it. The longer bolts are gonna go on the side with this trim piece, the shorter ones will go up top. So I'm gonna thread it from the outside of the leg all the way through, you can see that's here. Then I'll put a washer on and then just finger tighten the nut. Once I've done that, I'll take a shorter bolt and I'll do the same thing on the other hole. Now, once I've got that in place, I'm gonna move it for the camera, but you don't actually need to move it while you're doing it. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and take the other end panel and I'm going to do the same thing and set it up this way. Now I'll grab the longer bolt and go through where this trim piece is. This is going to be in the bottom of the planter. And then I'll do a washer and a nut. And I'll grab a shorter bolt and it's going to go on the other, the other hole. Once I've got that done, then I'm ready to put on the other panel. Again, we're gonna still go upside down with it. So I'm gonna drop it in here. And you'll see, I'll take the longer bolt and go where the trim piece is, and then a washer and a nut. And then a shorter bolt on the other side with a washer and a nut. And then on the last side, I've got my long bolt on this hole. You guys think, I think you know the drill by now, with a washer and a nut. And then a shorter bolt with a washer and a nut on the bottom. All right, once we're done with that, we can go ahead and put the shelf on. Now this shelf is gonna be attached using only the uh, shorter bolts. So I find that it helps to just kind of grab a couple in your hand and then you're gonna to wanna to move, drop the shelf in sort of from the top, slide it down to where the holes are on both sides. You can kind of drop one in on a corner Still holding it, should fit in fairly snug, but then just drop the other end on the corner 
and it'll hold pretty well even without the bolts until you can get everything placed. Then I'm going to take the other ones and put those in as well. And I'll finish it up by putting a nut and a washer on all four corners. All right, once we've got all those pieces on, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these bottom ones before I flip it over. It's gonna make it just a little bit easier. So all you're doing is tighten these bolts a little bit. You don't have to make them super tight. Uh, just a little bit will be enough. Okay, once I've got those done, then I'm gonna go ahead and flip the planter over. It can, it's a little bit heavy, but it's only about 30 or so pounds at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. Uh, I can just pick it up and that's no problem. If you need to, you can just kind of roll it into place. Um, but you can see it's not too bad lifting up there. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna tighten all eight of these nuts on the inside before we put the floor in. Okay, once we've got that all tightened up, then we're ready to add the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a floor piece. Now it's pretty easy to see which one, which side goes where. The, uh, the clean side will go in the middle and then the sides with the notches cut out is gonna go on the end. That's for these pieces that are held together with the little uh, trim piece. So when I drop it in, I'm just gonna put it in and slide it to the side. And then I'll grab the other one and I'll do the exact opposite. So trim the cutout pieces on the outside of the planter. So I'll slide it in and then slide it all the way to the side. Now for this last step, you can see it's pretty simple, uh, but all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and screw the floor pieces down. There's just four screws in each side, each half, so eight pieces, eight screws in total for the entire floor piece. Okay, once I've got all eight in, the last thing left to do is to add the trim piece at the top. And so I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in and should fit in there pretty well. Sometimes it's a little snug, but um, then it just takes one screw on each side. Now we're gonna add the liner. And I can do this now, or I can do it right before I plant, that's fine. And then the only thing left to do, and it's really kind of optional, um, is if you want that logo on, we're gonna add the logo. So once I've got that liner, you know, it's gonna come pre-cut uh, to space out pretty well on that floor. And um, and now we're ready to go. Now I will show you how to add this, this uh, logo real quick. So you'll see it's pretty simple as well. Okay, now I'm ready to add the logo and you'll see that your kit's gonna come with four nails. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and line this up how I want it. And it doesn't really matter where you put these nails, but then I'm just gonna tap them in. All right, and now you're done, you're ready to plant. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you do have any questions, please reach out to us. We're easy to get a hold of. You can get us on Facebook, uh, send us a message. You can get us on our website, or you can also email us, support at boldlygrowing.co. Thanks a lot, enjoy your garden.